The following session is from Spiritual Warfare, seven biblically based meditations for overcoming darkness. The first three sessions are set to be made available for free on YouTube, while the total collection will be made available at numabreath.com and to our patrons who support at the all material tier at patreon.com slash numabreath. We appreciate all your support as we continue to seek to produce powerful meditative material for the spiritual growth of believers all over the world. The Lord bless you as you enter this session. 2. The Transfer Now that we have an understanding of the war waging around us, it is time to focus on ourselves, on where we stand before we progress forward. As you position yourself, as you find a comfortable yet alert position, allow me to say a prayer for us. Father God, we thank you today for what you are doing in the earth, for what you are doing inside of us. We invite you. Have your way in this time. Show us your will. Protect us and guide us near unto your son, Jesus. We thank you and we pray this in Jesus' name. Let's begin with deep breaths and exhales. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and breathe on your own. Allow me to read this portion of scripture that will be our focus in this time. It comes from Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 and 14. The Father who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Before we can embark in the arena of spiritual warfare, we must know which side are we on. 
Which side are we on? Now, before we jump to a conclusion, allow this meditation session to reveal where you stand. Because even though the majority of us may be on one side, there may be areas of our life that are still on the other side that the enemy might try to use for his own advantage. I want you now in your own words to invite the spirit of truth who is the Holy Spirit. I want you to say something like this. I invite you, Spirit of Truth. I invite you, Holy Spirit of God. Come and show me the truth. Begin to visualize that you are on this high mountain and you're standing with the Lord Jesus Christ. And below you is a large valley with two armies fighting in hand-to-hand combat. The kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. And as you watch the battle with the Lord, I want you to ask Him Which side am I on? Lord Jesus, which side am I truly on? Go ahead.
I want you to look at the Lord and ask him this question. Ask him this, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, am I truly born again? Am I truly born again? Go ahead. Allow the Lord to continue to speak to you and you continuing to speak to Him. Ask Him to speak to you from His Word. Ask Him to give you visuals. Just simply use this time on this mountain to talk to the Lord, the Son of God. I feel like the Lord wants me to ask you a question. And that question is this. Do you want to go deeper in this session? Do you want to go deeper in this session of self-evaluation, examining oneself? If not, you can stop this session now. But I believe the Lord is asking you, and I want you to answer this question. Not to me, but to the Lord. 
And if it is yes, then simply say, yes, Lord. I want to go deeper. I want to go deeper. If you're still listening and you have said yes, I feel like the Lord has such a smile on his face because he loves this. He loves going deeper into the hearts of men and women. He loves to discuss the deep areas of our hearts deep calls on to deep as the scriptures say his deep is wanting to call to our deep so I want you now even with your hands lifted either all the way up or your hands halfway with your palms to the sky I want you to see Jesus and I want you to tell him come Lord take a deep breath and then say come into me Lord Jesus and see him coming into you into the deepest areas of you now breathe in deep Exhale slow. Inhale deep. Exhale slow. What is the Lord doing inside of you? What is he doing? The Bible teaches us to not give any place to the devil. No root of bitterness. No breach in the walls, if you will. I want you now from a place of faith, not fear, 
a place of loving expectation and hope. I want you from that place to speak to the Lord who you have invited inside of you and say, Lord, where are the major breaches inside of me? What are the major weak points that the enemy tries to come in through? Go ahead and ask him and see what those major weak points are inside of you. Go ahead. I want you now to begin to see those areas the Lord has revealed to you. And one by one, starting with the greatest, I want you to walk over as if you're walking over to a wall that is crumbled or is weak. And I want you to lay your hands on that weak area, that breach the enemy tries to come in through. And I want you to lay both hands. You can do so in your imagination. You can do so with your physical hands while you visualize it. But I want you to lay both hands on that. And I want you by faith to see the Lord place his two hands with your two hands on that area. And now, say these words. Be healed in Jesus' name. You can speak whatever it is, and in your own words, say, be healed in Jesus' name. Be restored in Jesus' name. Be whole in Jesus' 
name. Go ahead. However you feel led, just begin to speak to that area with Jesus in his name. Go ahead and you can move on to other areas as well. When you feel like that area is, is complete. If you need more time, just pause this meditation and take as much time as you need with the Lord to go to as many areas as you believe need healing and restoration and strengthening. Take your time. Do it with Him, knowing that healing and restoration can be a process. But the important part is doing it with Him, doing it in loving faith with Him. And when you feel ready to move on, I want you to see all those areas that you spoke to, you laid your hands on with Jesus, and I want you by faith to simply blow, to simply blow upon those areas with him and just say be whole be healed be restored Now, before moving forward, I want us to stop again. And I want us to look at the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Messiah. I want us to look by faith at Him and ask Him this question again Lord Lord Jesus
Am I truly a child of God? Do I truly belong to the kingdom of light? Am I truly saved? Go ahead and talk to the Lord about these questions. If you believe the Lord has affirmed you in your salvation, that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and that if you were to die today, you would pass on into eternal glory, then I want you to praise Him, thank Him, just smile at Him with gratefulness and love that it's by His grace you have been saved through faith. But if you are unsure or you feel like he has not affirmed that, then I want you to ask yourself, do I truly want to be saved? Do I truly want to commit my life to Jesus Christ, to be in His service forever, and to lay my own life down on the cross so that His will would be done. I want you to consider this, to really ask yourself, do I truly want to make this commitment? Go ahead and take some time. If you have decided that you want to make the Lord, the Lord Jesus, your King, your everything, that you're willing to lay down your own wants for Him, then Amen. Amen. Then I want you to look at Him. And I want you to say these words. Lord Jesus. Lord 
Jesus. Son of the Most High God. I, right now, declare my need for you. That I want you to be the Lord of my life. Now and forever. And now I want you to ask him to wash away your sins. To wash away your sins in his blood. And I want you to see and begin to pour, to begin to pour a cup of his own blood over your head. And I want you to see your sins being washed away. I want you to see even specific sins of your past that you are guilty of, that you are shameful of you've held on to all these years as he's pouring his blood over you I want you to see those sins being washed away washed away like dirt being washed away in a shower oh go ahead and, and see this happening go ahead go ahead and just praise him hug him thank him and just declare I am a child of God whoever you are listening to this praise him for his goodness praise him inwardly praise him outwardly however you feel led just praise Jesus for his kindness to us, his love to us. Go ahead. It is so important. It is so important before we battle against the forces of darkness that we are sure 
of our salvation. That we are confident we are children of God. And that we have been transferred from darkness and brought into His kingdom. It is so important, so important that we identify the weak areas in our lives and we by faith begin to pray over those areas that we begin to repair those areas with the Lord. I encourage you to continue to meditate with this session. If you find that you're receiving healing, if you find that the weaknesses are being repaired, I would encourage you to continue to repeat this meditation until you feel that you are ready to move on in the place of spiritual warfare, in the place of battling against the kingdom of darkness. And remember, the Lord is with you. If you be His, He will not forsake you, but will be with you to the end. If you find any weakness in your life, any area the enemy is coming through, simply go to that area with Jesus and watch the healing take place, the restoration take place. And before we close in prayer, I want us all, I want us all to be before the Lord. I want your hands up, whether all the way up or halfway up. I want you to be in a place of receiving. And now I want all of us, all of us, to envision the pure blood of Jesus Christ cascading over us like a waterfall. And I want us to see by faith all areas of shame, of guilt, of condemnation, of sin, of disappointments, of bitterness, envy and jealousy, all areas of evil, of sin, of depravity, everything the enemy has tried to place into our lives. I want you to see it being washed away by his blood, the precious blood of Jesus. Go ahead. Father, I thank you. I thank you for my brother or my sister. And oh God, I pray that you protect them. That they would be covered. Always in the blood of Jesus. That their walls would be strong. 
Now you would help them in times of weakness, leading them by your hand. I bless them, Lord, and I ask that you bless them. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. We hope you enjoyed this session from Spiritual Warfare, Seven Biblically-Based Meditations for Overcoming Darkness. To access all seven meditations, please go to numabread.com or become a patron at the All Material Tier at patreon.com slash numabreath. We appreciate all your prayers and support as we continue to seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit in the creation of this powerful meditative content. The Lord bless you all.